guys, it's Tiffany from Super Easy Math. Today's math problem of the week says, depending on how a cylinder is cut, it can have three different shapes as cross sections. What are the shapes? So to answer this question, I've drawn three cylinders and I'm gonna show you the cut line that each can make to get three different shapes on a cross section view. So that first cut line could be a cut that's going completely horizontally across the center of the cylinder. Well, when you look at that cross section from up above, looking down, you would see a circle. So a horizontal cut on a cylinder would make a circle. The next cross section that could be made is created when the cylinder is cut in half except vertically. If you were to open the cylinder and look directly into it, you would see two rectangles. So the second cross section shape that you could create by making a cut in a cylinder is a rectangle. The last cross section that you could create would come from cutting the cylinder diagonally. So in this case, if you were to open or take apart the two pieces of the cylinder and look down, it would appear like an oval. So for this cut, if you were to take the top and the bottom portion of the cylinder apart and look inside, you would see an oval cross section. So those are the three cross section shapes that can be created by various cuts to a cylinder. Here's next Tuesday's math problem of the week. See if you can solve it before I do, but don't forget to head over to Super Easy Math where you can get my top five math tips to make learning math easy, a live math tutor who can help you with all your math needs, and access to all of my videos where I teach everything in order with notes the way you need it.